Good day and welcome to another installment here on the Super Data Science YouTube channel. Today we have a more relaxed video. We are actually having some fun and we are going to build this Christmas tree you see in front of you. All right, so let's have a look at the data that we'll use to make up this Christmas tree. Firstly, uh, you'll see it's a custom Excel sheet which we've created for this purpose. And we've got the following columns. Firstly, we have the line, next the value, the color, the light one and light two, and then set. How this works is the line would be each of the um, branches of the tree, the value, the actual length of the branch, the color would distinguish between the bark as well as the actual um, leaves of the tree. And we've also got some lights that we've set up to showcase or to, to, um, to blink as such on, on the animation at the end. And you'll notice a set here as well and that we need that, that we use to um, create the animation which you'll see a bit later how we do it it's also important to note you'll see there's a repetition of this data that runs across two times um, but yeah you can also adjust this for your own purposes obviously you can um, make your tree look a little bit different a bit taller or thicker or so forth but this is what we will use at the moment this data will as always be available on the super data science website so you can just grab it from there the link will be in the comments as below all right, let's jump in and create our own. We would, as always, connect to an Excel file and we'll connect to the tree data file. Have a quick look to see whether the data was imported correctly. You can just ignore these nulls. We know there's no values in there, but you can just ignore them as there is. And there it is. Right, jump, let's jump into the worksheet and get it get started. We'll start off by moving the line to the actual dimensions and taking the line into the rows shelf. Next, we can take the actual value and put that into columns. And you can really see a, st a tree starting to shape over there. We will just need to change the sizing before um, we add more elements, um, just to make it a bit nicer. Uh, we can just and maximize our screen. To create the full tree, we will just duplicate the sum of value by holding down the control button and dragging it next to itself. And on this axis over here, we can go edit axis and make it reversed. This way, we've got a tree that actually shows um, in a symmetrical manner. We obviously want to add the lights on there as well. So we'll take light number one and drag it between the two and light two. We'll just do them at the same time actually and drag that next to the other uh, value, the second value. We will use uh, dual access over here and by clicking the dual access, it will be merging those two um, measures together to create on the left hand side here, the outline of the tree. You'll see that obviously the chart type has changed, but the outline of the tree as well as the um, individual lights, which we'll fix in a moment. Let's also change this one to a dual axis chart, also by doing the same method. And uh, we can just hide the nulls. Let's just right click and hide nulls, or at least just hide the indicator. Um, as those values, as we saw, the, the nulls values we, we saw earlier, we don't need those. All right, now to make sure that these lights um, need are actually on the tree or inside the tree, we will just need to ensure that we synchronize the axis. Um, that will bring them into line and now we can go change the chart type back so for the sum of value and obviously we've got two of those now for sum of value we will change this to a bar graph and the same for the next one into a bar chart and there we are you can already see the chart looking great to fix up the colors we go into the all charts um, option over there and just remove this measure names as we'll, it will change the colors individually for each element so Firstly, for the, um, the bar chart or both bar charts, the value in other words, we will take the color and drag that onto color. And we'll do the same for the, for the second one, so same effort, just drag it on there. And now we can go and change the actual color. Now, we've already given it names, so it's easy to just link it up. So for brown, we'll choose a brown, we know that's the bark. And for green, those would be the actual leaves or branches. And we hit apply. Now we're back to a normal looking um, Christmas tree um, but there's still a few more things we need to, to do so um, the lights especially we will change firstly this to a shape chart type and we'll do both Ch shape chart type and the actual shape we'll use is a diamond that actually gives us the closest looking um, 
shape, I guess, to a little light. So we'll change them to to uh, to diamonds, and and then we can just change the the color of the of the lights. I prefer to take it, to put it red over here. Um, it's nice, Christmassy colors, red and green. So the red works well. Let's just change that one as well, and let's also change the size actually um, of both. So we go back to the all um, well, all shelf and just changes a bit bigger. Whoops, not that big, <laughs> but that size. Um, as you can see now, we've got less spaces between the branches and also our Christmas lights are nice and big. And that is our Christmas tree. Now, you can obviously stop here and just remove all of the borders and lines and so forth. Or you can actually create um, a Christmas tree as we had in our preview where the lights blink. Now, you prob might probably think that how would we do that and it is really straightforward. We can just take the um, set parameter and you'll remember we had date in this specific um, dimension actually. We had um, date in there and we would use that in the pages shelf by just dragging the set dimension into the pages shelf. You'll see immediately we've, um, it brings up the, uh, the pages uh, controller over on this side. But we, uh, we've got different days, not years. So we would obviously want to change this to actual days. And now if we click the play button, you will see that um, it only shows the values for that specific date. Now you remember that um, we've, we've done this already, the, the proper placement in the Excel file. So you could obviously add more um, days to it and be able to show more actual uh, lights or more blinking and so forth. But for this purposes, we will stop here. However, what we want to do as well is just on the um, controller for the pages, click on the little drop down and go to loop playback. And then we will have a seamless uh, Christmas tree with all the flashing. Now you you will remember in the preview what, we actually had different colors lights, the color lights, and that's also quite straightforward to do as well. And for this purpose, you can just actually take the um, set uh, dimension, drag it into color, and just do it for the other lights as well. Um, now these could obviously be independent, but um, I'm just going to have them at the, the same. And in this case, you will just change. Um, and make sure, oh yeah, sorry, not year. This is obviously, uh, we want to use the day. So we select day over there. And the same with this one. No, no it's already captured it over from, from the other side. All right, so um, you can now just hit play. Oh, it's actually just taken the left-hand side. Let's actually remove this over here, this color, and put the set in as the color. And again, remember we make this the day and it should have the exact same values and the lights the, the lights are back now. So if you hit play now, you'll notice that um, not only does the light do the lights move, but they also actually um, change color from, from cycle to cycle. Now, the only thing that's left for us to do is to tidy up a little bit. So we can, um, this is quite standard, but you can um, do this as well, is just to remove all of these headers, each of the axis headers and also the row headers we want to remove. Oh, there we go. And also all the lines actually. So we can do that by just going format and changing all of the borders and lines to disappear. And um, yeah, as you remember, this is normally a little process, but um, it's necessary. <laughs> Let's go into the lines as well. Just make sure they all tick to none. We don't want any of those ones popping up on our presentation. And lastly, this one, and it's gone. There we go. So there's our Christmas tree, and let's actually just change this and say, call this Happy Holidays. And we could further, oh, let's actually change, make that disappear. So you notice that it actually puts the day number next to um, next to the sheet name, which we don't want. And we can just make this bold and even a little bit bigger, and hit apply. There's Happy Holidays. And lastly. We could even make this look even better um, by doing the famous trick of changing the actual background. And um, oh, there we are, there's the background color. Let's just make sure to click format the background color onto the sheet and we can make it black. And there is our Christmas tree in black with a back black background rather I should say. Um, font size, font white. And once we actually go into presentation mode, Oh, you know what we should do is just actually remove these ones. We don't need to see, we don't need to see them. So hide that, hide that, and into presentation mode. And 
we can do the play button. And our lights change. So that was a quick and easy way to, um, to build a Christmas tree. Um, I hope you've learned some tricks with the dual axis and the synchronized axis charts. This one wasn't too difficult at least, but um, at least you could also see what is possible with Tableau. And um, with this, I would not want to wish you a um, happy holidays here from us at Super Dollar Science. And um, keep tuning in to us into our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, remember to do so and speak to you soon.